Instacart has just set out a new email letting us know they'll be making more changes to the platform and I wanted to go over those uh, changes and discuss how they can affect the shopper and the customer alike. Stick around to the end where I share my little story on when I had a customer tip bait me. Let's go over what the email says. Hi, this is Katie Heflin with the Rideshare Guy, and I wanted to come on and go over this email. We'll just see uh, what they say and go over that a bit. So they're now requiring customer feedback if the customer wants to completely take away the tip. Um, they want to know why, so they're going to have something that pops up that is asking the customer, you know, why are you removing the tip? I don't know how this is supposed to help us feel any better about it. They say that apparently only 0.5% of customers actually remove their tip. Maybe that's correct or not. Um, it's only happened to me once. It doesn't talk about them just lowering the tip. However, that's happened to me a lot. I don't think that, that they're going to ask the customer if they're just adjusting the tip. All it says if the customer removes the tip. So that's interesting. And then it also discusses deactivating customers who abuse the platform. I totally misread this. At first I thought it said deactivating shoppers who abuse the platform. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I, I don't know why I read this the first time that it was saying like, okay, if the, if the customer removes the tip and then they leave their little note to why they're removing the tip, then the Instacart corporate is going to look over that and see and it's and I thought it said shoppers would be deactivated so for you know consistent and egregious behavior but it didn't say yeah so I totally misread that that's pretty cool so they're actually going to just you know block customers who are consistently tip baiting tip baiting is where you post a big tip right and then you know the shopper gets it and they're super excited and it's gonna pay their bills right and then as soon as the order is delivered they go into the app and completely remove all tip and again like I said this happened to me once so that's interesting and it's kind of like why would anyone do that I mean that's just horrible that's just like you know to a waiter giving them their tip and then be like psych you know as you get up to leave um, I can't even imagine. They are also reducing the tipping window. Used to it was um, three days that a customer could go in and remove their tip or adjust the tip, but now it's only 24 hours. I didn't have too many customers who would go in, you know, days later and change it. It was more so right then and there. It says that only 0.25% of customers um, adjust their tip later than 24 hours, so they just assume most you know do it right then and um that's that's the case that's been the case for me as well however i feel that only giving the customer 24 hours to add a tip um because that is going to be affected too is that kind of sucks because there are a few um customers who i've had who've gone in gone in like a week later and added you know a ten dollar bonus tip or whatever i've had a few customers this last week do that and it was it was quite a pleasant surprise so they're also going to be updating the cash out experience usually we were only allowed to cash out um, our earnings, our guaranteed earnings of that day, and we had to wait because the tips may vary. But now they're going to give us, after the 24 hours, um, they're going to let us cash out our tips right away. So, I mean, I, I don't like to do that because I like to have a paycheck every day, you know, every week, not every day. But I guess that'll be good for, you know, some people who may need their money. A little bit sooner oh and they're also going to be waiving cash out fees through the month of July the cash out fee is 50 cents so thanks you know uh, <laughs> whatever for my customer who um, removed the tip I basically she just got a bunch of annoying items like heavy sodas heavy waters and you know I delivered to her place I met her 18 kids and her it was just a lot of trips I remember I made like seven or eight trips to my car to her house and it was just a seven dollar tip but hey you know that was gonna help me out and literally I checked my batches an hour later and they were gone so I was really shocked that someone would do that I'm also shocked that people do that considering we have their address like I mean I'm not crazy but it sure has crossed my mind a couple times like I'm gonna go egg their house I'm gonna go slash their tires not that but you know it's crossed my mind because it's just like feels so personal 
when it personally affects your bills and, and your livelihood. So really with this email, I'm just kind of disappointed that they're only giving the customer 24 hours to change their tip because I think, you know, busy people, um, they're going to go into their app and be like, oh yeah, you know, so-and-so, she was so nice, let me give her an extra $10 or whatever. And um, they won't be able to at that point. So that kind of annoys me. But other than that, it's kind of nice that they're going to be... Um, sticking up for their shoppers in a sense and deactivating bad customers, um, people abusing the platform and um, tip baiting. Okay, so there you have it. Um, if you would like to sign up with Instacart, our referral link is below. Um, we make new videos every week, so please come back and check us out. If you like this video, please like it. If you have any questions, comment below or email us. Thank you so much. Be well, be blessed.